Welcome to Ridge Life. It's finally happened. Today, the sun's out, it's dry enough, and we're getting some of the land cleared for the log home build. Good news everyone, not only do we have our foundation footer poured, we have our blocks delivered and we are so excited. We have beautiful weather forecast and we are hoping to get this foundation built this week. That would be so awesome and the most exciting news is next week we are slated to have our logs delivered. Oh, we cannot wait to see those beautiful timbers being delivered to our location here on the ridge. This is going to be such a beautiful, beautiful place. I'll pan around here so you can see what we've got. Lots of blocks. Now these are special blocks. We're not just using standard masonry blocks. If you look at the one in the opening, you'll see it's got a rough face on it. And these are gorgeous when installed. I'll pan over here so you can see this one I got laid out already. And these are beautiful. Whenever uh, you get them all put together and all the, all the irregular surfaces meet, it's just gorgeous. You see we still got a lot more work to go, but it's turned out really, really nice. You can see our footer that was poured, we've got a um, septic line ran down there in the bottom, septic line comes right out the front, that's looking good. We've got our well line coming out the back, just below that access door there off to the left. You can see we've got we've got uh, vents, foundation vents. These are manual. We decided to go with manual instead of the automatic. But uh, really excited. Can't wait. They should be done with this. Um, get these blocks up and they have to come back and pour concrete in them. And then uh, we'll be ready to get those floor joists in. Next thing in the process was getting the plumbing roughed in, which we've got over here. I'll show you in just a second. And we also got power poles ran out to the property. So we have a temporary power pole. So temporary power pole means the contractors can be scheduled to come in and start putting the timbers up. And that's the exciting part. So we can't wait to get that done. 
Some also exciting news is next week, we're gonna have the drillers out here drilling our well. So that's gonna be an exciting thing to watch. Big old trucks come out here and start drilling that well and seeing how far they gotta go down to get that fresh water. Uh, we got power out here now, so we can get that pump going. It's gonna be awesome. We need to get some water out here. We got the electricity, you've seen us get the electricity. Now it's time for the water. Contractors have arrived and we are proceeding with the log home build foundation. What we've got here is a vapor barrier. This vapor barrier here uh, provides uh, separation between the concrete foundation and the wood floor joists and uh, you see the foam and the metal also helps to keep out any termites from climbing up through any cracks or crevices. You can see how these connections work together on these timbers here. They're all pre-cut out dovetail and uh, they inter interlock like that and that give about an inch overlap. I really like that's gonna look great. This is how we uh, connect the two timbers together. You can see the timbers are screwed down to the timber below it. There's a uh, gasket in between them and then they uh, put silicone on the bead on the seams right here. We can see how these joints are made here. There is um, the two timbers come together. There's some foam down the bottom. They have flashing to keep the water out between the seam slide this uh, basically it's a dowel two by four slide slid down in there and then they'll fill this with a triple expanding foam that leaves a really good watertight seal all right you can see that this is what it looks like when we add the triple expanding foam around the uh, dowel pin there fills in all those voids then we're going to cover this with a sealant tape I'll show you that here in just a second these timbers are screwed together and these are the long screws we use to do that that is a long screw now so here's the gasket material we're using to uh, put these two timbers together. And you can see the silicone bead we put on the outside edge and that's gonna give a nice watertight seal, airtight seal. We also pre-drill for all the electrical connections. That goes all the way down to below the subfloor into the uh, conventional foundation to bring up our electrical. Putting in the long screws between the timbers here. Takes a bunch of screws to secure these things together. Wow, look at the progress we have here. This looks great. Check out these joints on the corner here. Doesn't that look nice? Genesis log system. Walk around and see what all these window cutouts. Looks awesome. Yeah, see how everything was numbered. See, these are all 13s. These are all 1s. And you can see the, the seal system in between. There's the caulk, the seal. All the way up. Come back around. See this joint system here. Y'all um, can see those uh, joints I was telling you about with the dowels in it. You can see they put this tape over it right here. You have the caulk, tape, and seal. It's really cool. Then we can see how we seal all this. You see it's flashing. 
flashing tape. Flashing tape. Guys, hard at work. Starting to look like a home now. Getting this exterior walls put up. Pretty awesome. It's gonna be an interior wall. Looking out this beautiful field right here. This big picture window right here. Of course, there'll be windows up top too. Cause this would be a big vaulted ceiling right here in this room. It's rained today, but the contractors have gotten a lot of progress done. You know, we had the walls done earlier. All those heavy timbers went up. Well, today, even in the rain, they managed to get the columns for the support for the loft floor. And that's where we're at now. We're standing up here on the loft floor and we are high up looking at the beautiful view of the ridge and the fields and uh, just this beautiful scenery we're gonna have here looking you know, south out the uh, great room uh, windows. Of course, we're gonna have a loft railing up here and you'll, you'll be able to sleep up here in the loft looking out at that beautiful view. It's just gonna be awesome. More progress on the log home build. As you can see, not only do we have the rear deck decking up and the rear shed dormer framed out, now we have the roof joists up. And those are some awesome beams. Those are just beautiful. I mean, just look how that big red solid wood and then just gorgeous. Of course, this whole house is just gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that, okay. Come around to the front deck here and you can see what we've got going on. I've got the deck, of course they haven't, again, they haven't lined, cut all these to line up. Still gotta frame up the, the rails and all that, but that is amazing, amazing sight there. It looks so cool. Let's go inside. Come inside here. Go up the stairs. See if we can, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Of course, we will have cross beams up there. We didn't get the low, big heavy timber cross beams, but we did get the high cross beams. It's just gonna be gorgeous. Let's go on up here. Look at our progress. You can see this huge timber right here. Oh, look at this. Solid. Very nice, very nice. We have this awesome ceiling system. And what it is, is the, the tongue and groove, eastern white pine with the uh, cedar uh, joist rafters there. And on the outside of the uh, tongue and groove, we're going to have uh, two layers of foam, dense foam insulation for an R40 value. And then on the outside of that, we'll have some two by fours creating an air gap. And then we will have decking plywood decking and then we'll have felt paper and our uh, sheet metal galvalum roofing i could just sit out here all day looking at all this beautiful wood
so beautiful we can see we got the front porch extended out now love those uh column supports there on the front porch got the wrapping on the roof there preparation for the metal roofing to come Here on the front porch, you can see our windows have been installed. We've got two large windows here in the living room section looking out the, the front porch. If you look off to your far right there, that's the master bedroom. It has two large windows also. And then, of course, a, a barn-style front door. Uh, from the outside in towards the great room, you can see the beautiful windows. We've got uh, lining this great room. Uh, big double window in the center two uh, vertical windows on either side of it, and then those half moon windows uh, above letting ample light in. Of course, behind there on the top is the loft looking out the great room. And of course, if you look up to the gable, look at that beautiful woodwork up there on top of the gable. We are so excited. Coming around to the back of the house, you can see um, another uh, smaller window uh, looking out. This is the kitchen dining room area there on the, the right. Uh, and then if you look top, left that's the uh, uh, called shed dormer that extends out from the roof and what's inside the shed dormer is the loft bedrooms closet and bathroom the window you see there in that shed dormer that is the uh, loft bedrooms uh, bathroom window and uh, it's really really a large size for how small this home really is looking from the north side of the house we can see there are just two small windows um, the one small window to your bottom left is in the master bedroom and then the one in the bottom right is in the, uh, the bathroom of the master bedroom. It goes master bedroom, master bath, and large walk-in closet. Uh, we'll show you that shortly. And you look up, there's a really large window and that is in the loft bedroom. Let's walk down the hallway we can see what the, everything looks like. Right here under the stairs we're going to have a pantry, storage area. Come back through here, of course, master bedroom. And uh, we're gonna have uh, some tongue and groove on some of the interior walls, but we're gonna do drywall with some color to offset all the wood. So it's not, so everything's just not, you know, wood, bright, bright wood, or dark, dark wood, I should say. Um, uh, so there'll be some drywall with some uh, natural, neutral colors. But this is the, the master bedroom very very large space and uh, then we can go back into the master bathroom master bathroom and you can see we've already got some of the plumbing roughed in we are super excited and then back here in the back we've got some of the interior doors we've already got set up that's the walk-in closet leaving the master bedroom we'll go out back to the hallway again and we'll show you the uh, mud room leaving out. The mudroom is large. This is a very large mudroom. Uh, but you'll have, you'll have a washer and dryer section, closet, um, and of course we'll have um, a sink in here and a stool area for sitting uh, going out to the back door there.
As you can see, we made progress since the uh, dry-in phase update you, you saw last. We've got our Galve Alum sheet metal roof installed. It is a silver. It's not red. It's not green like you see on a lot of modern log homes. This is going for that old style look like you saw on barns and old Appalachian log homes. Now, this isn't galvanized steel where it's going to rust and give that, give that look. It's a Galve Alum, but it has that same um, galvanized spangle uh, finish on the outside of it. So I think it's going to look really good in contrast to our smoke gray stain for our timbers. You can see some on the fascia boards next to the roof right now stain we're going to put on the uh, timbers is going to be complemented with a one inch light gray chinking. That's that sandy um, material that goes in between uh, timber frame homes. A lot of times you'll see it's like three inches, four inches. Well on ours, on these Genesis logs, it's only about a one inch chinking. So it's not, it's not going to be too obtrusive, um, but it's going to look really, really good with that light gray chinking with the smoke, light smoke stain with that Galvalume sheet metal roof. Another update you can see behind me is our porch. We see we have our porch rails installed and we have some stairs. Let's go and take a look at those. Here we can see our wide entry stairs and our new rails on our front porch. Uh, the rails are already stained. The smoke gray looks really, really good. We've got a little bit lighter colored gray for the decking on the uh, front porch and the stairs. We believe uh, we didn't want everything to be the same smoke gray, so we gave it a little bit of contrast on the decking. Of course, as it weathers and ages, um, I think it's going to look really, really good. We're going to put some uh, end caps on the post there. We got some on the back porch also. We had some on here, but the sun warped them up. Uh, we need to let them dry really good before we put them on there. Otherwise, they'll warp up. But they're a tiered cap. I think you've seen them before. If you look up at the top on the fascia board uh, up by the roof, you can see the smoke gray has already been stained up there. We got to come back and, and uh, apply another coat and some sealer to all of that. Uh, of course, we have all the posts and the, the timber frame uh, logs to stain and seal as well. Looking at the back of the house, you can see the shed dorm up there has some of that smoke gray stain. With the sun shining on it, you can tell it does not look, does not look near as dark as it did on the front. Uh, we haven't done any of the bottom. You can see, the uh, again, the fascia board has been stained. Um, of course, you have the rails up on the porch. Uh, looks really nice. Again, we need the, the cap on the post there. We are excited about getting the exterior of our log home complete. We've just got to get the stain and the sealant, finish up a few things on the porches, and the exterior will be done. Time to move inside, finish up the utilities, and start on the interior finish work. I think we'll take you inside now and show you the utility work. Let's go inside and see what we've got on the interior here. Oh, look. It's just so spacious and expansive with the beautiful timbers. Just love everything about our new log home. Panning around. We did take out that little wall right there. Grandma really liked how the tongue and groove looks. We took out the uh, small wall, the foot wall, and just took it all the way and we'll insulate from the edge there. But you can see we come on to the loft rooms up to stairs, down into the kitchen, living area. Very, very beautiful. You can see uh, here in the kitchen, we've got a lot of our plumbing already roughed in. Actually, it's more than roughed in. It's ready for the appliances and countertops and cabinets once we get the, uh, the wall finished up here. Now, we do have HVAC updated since we talked to you last, and we'll show you a bunch of the duct work and uh, all that that's uh, taken place so far. We are downstairs in the master bathroom, master bedrooms to the front of the house, master uh, closet in the back, again, the bathroom right here. We've got the, uh, the plumbing already set up. You can see the exhaust vent is right there. The duct goes out for the exhaust. Here's air conditioning uh, ducting plenum that goes up. It, it'll be surrounded by uh, wood inside the closet there so you don't see the, the ducting there. And of course, the returns are under the stairs. We'll have return lines that go back to the air conditioning system to be conditioned and blown back in the house. So lots of updates on our utilities. We are upstairs in the loft now, and of course the main loft sleeping area here. We've got the uh, loft closet, loft bathroom over there. Ba the bathroom is very, very large actually. Um, you can see here's our shower insert, tub insert for the upstairs bathroom. Plumbing, everything is done over there. And you can see here's that uh, air conditioning ducting and our exhaust for the loft area. I've got to keep this, it's going to be very warm up here. The ceilings are, these roof, this roof is very, very insulated. So um, should retain uh, heat and uh, actually cool in the winter, in the summer and wintertime very, very well, the, the amount of insulation we have, but it is an open 
a plan so you know the heat does rise. So we need a lot of air conditioning to get up to this space. Yes, I know the natural wood color on the log home was beautiful, but you know, they don't stay that way. They turn gray and ugly. So we have stained our log home a smoke gray and we've got a light gray chinking. I think that color is beautiful. It's called a smoke gray and then the light gray chinking. I think it's just going to look great for years and years to come. I just love this, this, this stain. And the sunlight's out, it almost looks lighter, you know, like a tan. But then when the clouds come over, it gets a smoke dark gray look, almost a dark brown. I just love this stain and chinking. I think the combination of the Galvalume roof, the smoke gray stain, the light gray chinking, and then of course the gray and the Galvalume roof on the, the shed off to the side, it just works out great here on the ridge. We look at the entryway here, we have our large entry steps. Now we've got uh, post coverings for the banisters there, really decorative. If we come up, you see the beautiful stained, smoke gray stained walls. They almost look brown in here with the light gray chinking. Love, love the rafters on this huge, huge porch. And of course, we go down this end, we're gonna see, we've got a uh, porch swing we're putting up. In the shade, it looks a lot darker, almost like a chocolate brown, but it is a light gray. The interior of the walls are conventional walls, and also the walls up around the top windows are conventional. Uh, there's a log siding on the outside of that OSB. Having the conventional walls allows us to run all of our electrical uh, safely in our plumbing. As you can see, we've got all kinds of electrical connections set up here, HVAC, uh, plumbing, this is the kitchen area. You can see we've got our plumbing uh, not only roughed in, we are ready for inspection. Along the west wall here, we're going to have cabinets that go all the way down. We'll have the sink in front of the window there, but you can see we, we cut into the timbers to run the electrical instead of running them up through each one. So we run all the way down to our receptacles over to our main power. Now as far as the receptacles and lighting, on uh, the rest of the walls, those were drilled up from the bottom. So you can see we've got receptacle holes here and no um, groove or anything. The, the cable runs up through the timbers. In the overhead, in these main big giant timbers, we've ran our cables up along the top and inside where you can't see them. And then the light fixtures, ceiling fans, will be able to hang down from the timbers themselves. Let's go upstairs and see all the progress up there. I just love every time I come in here looking out across this great room ceiling, just this beautiful tongue and groove on the ceiling and looking out that south wall there to the field. Just a, I can't wait to sleep up here in the loft and see this beautiful, beautiful building. Looking through the great room, we'll turn around here. See the beautiful tongue and groove ceiling, exposed beams. Let me look over here. We see our huge walk-in closet. We've got our electrical ready in there. Get the fixtures in. Come over here to the bathroom. 
plumbing and electrical is ready. Getting ready for all of the uh, fixtures. We have the shower in. We have the uh, faucets installed. We are ready, ready, ready. Come back around, look. Plumbing, exhaust. During the planning phase of our log home, one of the last things you get done is get the septic system installed. And we are ready for that. So check out this cool video of getting the tank installed and the field lines run. our new septic install thousand gallon conventional coming from the front of the log home you can see the drain line goes out we're gonna have our field lines out there where that bobcat is uh, just north of the shed can see all that blown insulation up on this top gable above the uh, timber wall. Now, just to remind you, you know, these are solid timbers here, these Genesis logs, and up above it, we're going to have a paneling, all that paneling I brought in, that looks like this. Uh, so that will continue on up, and this wall will look like a solid timber wall all the way up. And that blown-in insulation is a wet blown-in insulation, so we're having to warm it up in here and let this all dry out. Here's a real good view from the loft looking down at the great room. You can see, the, again, the timber uh, wall down below and all of that uh, timber paneling we brought in uh, will continue on up this insulated conventional wall all the way to the top and that will look so beautiful. Having drywall up, it looks so much like a home now. Um, no longer can you just look through and see the empty spaces. Now we have rooms. Uh, the drywall is up on, again, those uninsulated interior walls going to give us a splash of color so everything's not so dark in our beautiful log home. Now we're not going to go with pink or purple or any flamboyant color. There'll be natural uh, earth tones going to be so complementary to these beautiful Genesis logs. Let's take a little tour now of the interior rooms and see how our progress looks. Starting on the interior from the entryway, we can see the stair area, the drywall is complete on either side of it, leading up to the loft where the loft bathroom and closet are. That's a beautiful loft area. Walking on down into the kitchen area, 
We can see the kitchen area will be right here. One of the cabinetry that goes all along that wall. We walk back down the hallway to where the pantry area is. We have the exposed corner timbers there, look really good. Of course, it'll all be finished out. Come back around into the mudroom. Mudroom is very dark right now, but a huge mudroom. It's where the washer and dryer will be, back door, uh, closet, sink. Come back around through the hallway into the master bedroom. Master bedroom, get drywall ceiling, walls, exterior walls are the uh, heavy timbers, of course. Come back around, we can see the master bathroom, drywall interior. We have a shower, no bathtub, we decided not to go with a bathtub, but a huge walk in shower there. Come back to the master closet, it is huge as well. The doors throughout most of the log home are gonna be barn style doors, sliding barn style doors. They're gonna look really good and complement this interior. Don't you love the big exposed timbers that run in the center of a lot of these, this drywall? I think it's really gonna bring out that rustic look. Now let's head on up to the loft area. Again, this is just a, one of the beautiful points of this log home. We come up to the loft area, looking out again to the great room, out those beautiful windows, there's just nothing better in a log home looking out at a beautiful country scenery with this tongue and groove, heavy timbers, cross members, just a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. Continuing on up into the loft, we can see we've got the loft bathroom. It's a pretty good sized bathroom. Now we do have a tub and shower up here. We make sure one of your bathrooms always has a tub. Of course, we'll have toilet and getting large, large upstairs bathroom. From the inside of the bathroom, if we look up, exposed timbers. Isn't that cool, everyone? It's everywhere you can have anything um, rustic and exposed like that just brings out the uniqueness of having a log home. Now let's move on into the loft bedroom area. Again, you can see the exposed tongue and groove ceiling, exposed timbers. Come back around to the loft closet area. Again, barn doors in most locations. Very, very big closet. We also got the gutters installed on the house. Watching those go up was really cool. We also had the gas line and regulator ran out to the building as well. It's cool. I like the floor of that. Is this your house? It's a beautiful house. <laughs>
probably hard to tell with the lighting in here right now, but we have the interior walls and the kitchen and the living room here painted a light gray. It's a beautiful, beautiful light gray. The countertops in the kitchen are going to be this awesome uh, gray and white granite, and the cabinets themselves are going to be a dark gray. So um, I think they're going to contrast each other greatly, fit in with this beautiful log home interior, and just be a, a, a gorgeous sight to see. Of course, before we could paint those walls down there, we had to get all the drywall mudded and sanded. Sanding all these dry, this drywall was not an easy task. I did that myself. Um, of course, the uh, drywall guys did the, the basic mudding and uh, initial sanding, but sanding it off for a finish before the primer and paint, not an easy job. The cabinets are installed, but unfortunately, we've got plastic over them, again, keeping the stain from getting all over the cabinets and the countertops. Um, but we don't have the doors on them yet either. The, the cabinet maker is, is finishing up our doors. We told him it was fine since we're still getting the stain done. Uh, he'll have those done for us next week, hopefully. But we did get the, the cabinets installed, and we have the countertops. Check out these countertops. Give you a sneak peek here of what the cabinets and countertops look like. I'll pull back the curtain. We can see that the, the gray, the, the, the cabinets are a gray color, a beautiful, beautiful gray. And look at the countertops. That's such a pretty, that, that granite is, uh, it's got browns in it, it's got grays in it, of course it's whitish. And when we get some light in here, you're really going to see how pretty that is. Watching those guys spray those upper timbers was pretty cool. I'm glad it wasn't me up there on that ladder on top of that scaffolding because I don't like heights unprotected like that, but they did a great job and we're really happy with this natural wood stain we selected. Um, it really brings out the depth of color in the white pine and the cedar timbers. It's gonna last for many, many years to come, especially with that sealant on there. Gonna really lock that color in and we won't have to worry about it for a very long time. So very, very pleased.
Now that the professionals got the stairs installed, it's time for me to do the finish work. I'm going to get some baseboards put here at the base of the uh, drywall on the landing here. And I've got some trim to box in all this beautiful galvanized sheet metal on these rails. Uh, give it that finished look. So that's my job today. Finish these stairs.
Wow, what an amazing two-year journey it has been building this log home. We've gone through so much here on Ridge Life building this log home. You can see I'm a little grayer now than I was. We've gone through lumber prices soaring. We've gone through COVID. We've gone through labor shortages. It has been worth it though. This log home is perfect for my mom, Grandma Carol, to move in here. We built this on the back of our 40 acre property here on the ridge in West Tennessee, and we are super excited. So much for joining us on this two-year journey building our timber frame log home. We've had so many first uh, since we've built it. Grandma Carol has had our first Christmas dinner in the log home here on the ridge. Family came over, the grandbaby was here, all the kids. We had such a wonderful time. We've got more projects to do, guys. We have power to run out to the garage. We've got to build some gates. We've got to do all kinds of things here around the log home. We've also got barn repairs to do. We've got rabbits and honeybees and chickens. We go fishing and we go hunting. So guys, make sure you subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit that notification bell. Be notified anytime a new video comes out. Guys, and as always, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.